So here we have our 1968 Oldsmobile 442. Here for a full restoration, full nut and bolt, frame off, complete. This car is in seriously good shape. Battery charger is not a part of the car. All the trim and so forth, the bumpers, grill, everything is in really nice shape. The bumpers look okay when the paint looks like this, but when the paint's freshened up, the old chrome just won't match the rest of the car. All this trim, along here, I'll send to my stainless guy. He'll polish this stuff looking like new, as well as convertible top trim, which is again in spectacular shape. No dents, no damage. Can easily be restored, polished to look like new. Again, rear bumper and trunk, everything's in really nice shape. Badges will probably be sent out as well to be re-chromed if we can't replace them. It's always nice to be able to reuse the original pieces on a restoration. Whether or not you can buy replacements, they're not always what they seem. Convertible top obviously is going to be removed and replaced. Overall though, in really good condition, minus the duct tape. Pillar trim, windshield trim is also in spectacular shape. Hood trim as well. Now these fender pieces here. Those are chrome as opposed to stainless, so those will have to get out, come out and get re-chromed if not replaced. These hood grills are in super good shape too, but if we put these on the hood after it was repainted, you would see they're not as nice as they seem. Wheel oil moldings as well are stainless and don't show any damage or any signs of life. I mean, they are in really super shape. We do have some life happening down in the bottoms of the fenders, which we already have some original fenders to 
replace these rust-free fenders. Their original Oldsmobile fenders are not aftermarket. Doors are in good shape. The quarter panels are something we're going to question until they're stripped. We do have a couple little signs of life happening on these quarters. Obvious signs. Seems to be the extent of it. But one uh, noisy door alarm. Take that out. Dashboard. Great shape. No cracks. Really, really solid. But back to the quarters. These pop rivets are probably not factory. Okay, let's look inside the trunk. Got our vacuum actuator trunk release. Decal with our spare tire and jack. Trunk light appears to be working. Let's look at the trunk floor. Trunk floor, despite what it looks like, actually looks pretty sound. And once it's sandblasted, I don't foresee any surprises. But one never knows. Haven't checked to see if that antenna works. Not gonna hold my breath. This quarter inside looks good. Doesn't look like it's been messed with at all. There is a little bit of a sign on the outside end right there that it's rusting a little bit. But if you come over to the left side, it's clearly rusting. Clearly has an excessive amount of seam sealer on it or a patch actually that's a patch that's a skin and it appears to be skinned over there too so this left hand quarter is definitely a question mark but we do have replacement quarters starting this project. So if we do run into, into any more issues, we'll be able to deal with it. Dash looks really good. Really good shape. Interior overall is in, in really bad shape. It will be all redone before this project is over. really nice shape to start with which is very good now apparently these electric windows are supposed to work so let's try them out oh would you look at that
Oh, those were really nice. Car has been sitting for quite a number of years. And this kind of stuff still works. It's really good to see. Well taken care of. Interior light works. We've got one down here that's on. That's going to be replaced. Got another interior light on down there. I guess the next thing to see is if the convertible top works. Need another interior light on there. But looking at this, it's very respectable, very well taken care of. But with a restoration, it's going to look all that much better. That works surprisingly well. Now that we lowered the convertible top, let's take another look at the interior, how it all looks. Very well kept car. Next thing we're going to do is go ahead, we're going to raise the hood, and we're going to remove the hood, get that out of the way, take a look at our engine bay. So the hood's removed. Take a peek at the engine bay. Factory air conditioning system. That's either going to be reconditioned or replaced. The engine will be pulled out and be shipped to an engine shop to be gone over and rebuilt as well as the transmission. Brake lines and such will be replaced. We're going to be putting front disc brakes on this car as well. But again, overall very good condition. Everything's there very good starting point for a restoration.